You know what is super fucked is when you fall out of love with someone. And I think that we don't talk about this enough in society. Falling out of love is one of the most horrendous things that could ever happen to any human being. And it happens to everyone. I mean, you're in love with someone and you have all this hope and you're just overcome with this saturation of love and warmth and then at some point you fall out of love with them or they fall out of love with you and then you you're like okay I was in love with this person can I still be in love with this person and they're like hey why aren't you treating me nicely anymore and this person doesn't say like Hey, you know what? I'm kind of falling out of love with you, and I'm just gonna hang in there for a while and see if it comes back. <laughs> because if you said this to this person, then this person would be like, Oh my god, this is the saddest thing that's ever happened to me. Why are you doing this to me? And so, what happens instead is this person says, This person goes, Hey, what's wrong, honey? And then this person goes, Uh, nothing. And this person goes, uh, do you want me to make you some Mediterranean salad? I'm making some. Do you want some? And then you're like, yes, I would love some Mediterranean salad. Thank you. That's very kind of you. And then you go do stuff together. <laughs> you go to the stores. And then the thing is, is that this person's also falling out of love with this person. But they may not know it or they don't have the fortitude to tell the person either because that's the hardest thing to tell someone. <laughs> you know, it's hard to tell someone that you love them, I guess. I don't have that problem. If I love somebody, I'm like, hey, I, I love you and I'm in love with you. But I've never told someone that I was falling out of love with them or that I had fallen in love with the, out of love with them. So what happens instead is this person just becomes, one of you falls out of love first. And for me, it sometimes has been me. And then sometimes it's been the other person. And I think this is the saddest fucking thing in the whole world. You know, you're like, okay, you're, you're going to the stores together and you're going to do stuff together. And I don't want to get too specific because I've done all kinds of stuff with all kinds of people. You're having sex with each other. You're mutually masturbating with each other. Whatever your thing is. You know, you're having sex on the car together. <laughs> and yet, someone's falling out of love first. And then the other person can sense it. And they don't know what's wrong. And they talk to their friends. And they go, oh, I can't quite put my finger on it. But it's not the same. Or this person tells their therapist and their like, therapist is like, well, when are you going to break up with them? And you're like, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm waiting to see if the love comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, this person's like sensing something and they're meeting other people and they're going like, why are all these other people being so nice to me? But this person is not as nice to me as like strangers and friends and other people that want to have sex with me. Now, while you're listening to me talk about this. You're probably thinking I'm talking about like my last relationship or this is me over here or this is me over here. Stop thinking like that. I've had relationships with 800,000 people. I've had sex with 49 billion people, more people than are on the planet. I have had so many relationships where I've been in love with someone. I've been in at least a hundred relationships where I loved someone. And I've had, you know, major ones like, you know, when I was married, of course, I loved her longer and deeper than, you know, a lot of other people or whatever. All I'm really getting, I'm just, don't get caught up on trying to detective who I'm talking about or any of that shit. That's not the point. The point is we all should talk about how we fall out of love with people I know that there are obviously married couples that have a very deep 
you know, they might start out one way, like really romantic and really sexual. And then, you know, eight years later, they're like brother and sister or best friends. I, I never understand that dynamic without romance and sex and all that stuff. Like the, you know, if I'm not French kissing somebody throughout a week and having sex with them every day, then I, I start to lose interest. Have you fallen out of love with someone? I bet you, you have because you're a human being and that's how life is. The long story short is I've been doing a lot of thinking about what bums me out the most about life on a regular basis. And I will tell you what it is. It is when this person falls out of love with me, but they don't tell me. And if they did, it would crush me too. You know, like I don't want someone to necessarily to say like, I'm not in love with you anymore, but do I want, maybe I do. What? This is the question. This is my therapeutic question for you. The question is, if this person falls out of love with this person, whether it's you or me or anybody, does the person who falls out of love, should they tell the person that they have fallen out, they are falling out of love with them or have fallen out of love with them? A corollary to this is <laughs> if, let's say um, somebody cheat. I don't cheat, but let's say somebody in a relationship cheats. Do Should the person tell them that they've cheated. I've always thought like, no, just break up with the person. Or if your friends know that this person's cheating on you, do you want your friends to tell you? I ca Weirdly, I think the answer is yes. I'm trying to block my neighbors so you can't see my neighbors at the windows because I don't want to drag them into this. <laughs> so those are my questions for the day. One, do you want someone to tell you they are falling out of love with you? Or do you want to tell someone that you've, or should you tell someone that you're falling out of love with them? I think that a therapist would probably say, you, you know, maybe go get some couples counseling and then you can talk it out. And then the other question is, if so, if, if you're, if someone's cheating on you, do you want them to tell you? Or do you want their friends to tell you if your friends know? Because I feel like it, I've told people that I'm relate in relationships with, like, if you cheat on me, don't tell me, just break up. But I've also told friends, like, if you know that someone's cheating on me, tell me so that I can get out of it. Cause I don't want to be stuck in that nightmare of lies and deceit <laughs> again. I've had that happen in the past and I, I have no idea why anybody would cheat on me. I am amazing in every way. <laughs> No, I'm just being silly. So that's my question. There's two questions. What are your answers? For me, I feel like when someone falls out of love with you or when someone cheats on you, it's just crushing. It's crushing to me. I think I need to get over that. <laughs> I, I have to tell you, I was pretty torn up thinking about all this like 15 minutes ago when I was sitting in this car and I was thinking about it. But now that I've done a video about it, I feel better. The more I talk, the better I feel. So at the beginning of this video, my I was just so tight. I was thinking about like, you know, when did this person or that person fall out of love me with me? And when did I fall out of love with this person? And why didn't they? Argh! And I was just this... I was just, ah, I was just all, ah, I was all wrapped up. And then I just speak it out to this <laughs> camera and I feel a million times better. And you're like, why don't you just call your friends? Man, my friends are all at work right now. They got lives and they got kids and they got dogs. And I call them and they're like, I'm running a business. I have lots of stuff to do. Or I'm at a school saving someone's life or <laughs> any number of things. My friends are, you know, they're always doing crazy stuff. So I can't just call them at a moment's notice. And my therapist is, you know, in between buildings. So, and I'm going to stop talking now. And I love you very much. And I'm in love with you. And I have not fallen out of love with you. <laughs> oh, and I want you to have the best day ever.